zip clear. 13 corners for the Timbers tonight. Valeri into the box. Off of Sonny Romando, an awkward punch. Aspria gets a shot off, off the crossbar, and he puts it in. The Timbers break through against Nick Romando. They pulled one back, and it's 2-1. Arsenal have done such a good job to frustrate, to annoy the Timbers, to limit all their chances. But not for just credit to him. He gets in the way of Nick Romano. And Romano can't get what he likes on that punch. And as is Bria, just trying to take it out. He's got two men around him. Sends a whole football that ends up going off that crossbar. And Addy, opportunistic, gets in that area. He just keeps himself hoping for any chance to fall to his feet. And when it does, he gets the contact and it's the power. That's enough to finally level this game. Game on now. Timbers down just a goal. And the spark, the energy, returns to Providence Park. Grabovoy sends it in. Mound falls down in the box. McInerney whistled for a foul. That scoreless streak that Nick Romando held at Providence Park ends 464 minutes in between goals. March 31st, 2012, the last time the Timbers scored against Nick Romando on this field until just moments ago. There's a nickname we talked about in the opening, the wall of Wasatch. Whether there was a question of offside as that ball gets played into the area, not porches, he's just straddling that line. Larry trying to get it to Adi. Olave broke it up. Taylor, Adi, grab a void. Valeri, Powell. This is nice build up from the Timbers. Romando punches away. And the flag was up, and he was offside. Just going back to the Timbers goal, and Nat Borchers, whether he was offside, as we let the play develop there, and Borchers, as you put himself in that central area, right now, he would be in an offside position when that ball is played, but it's a deflection off an RSL player, and so Nat Borchers is onside. As Nick Romando goes to punch, Nat Borchers has a right to go for that ball. And it ended up resulting in the Timbers getting that goal. Similar to a goal that he scored uh, in the Premiership a couple weeks ago. A lot of, lot of controversy yep. with Western City. Yep. Same thing. He was not offside because the play restarts. And the ball comes off an RSL defender. So it's 2-1. Valeri looking for McInerney. Adi was down in the box. It's going to be a penalty kick for the Timbers. It was away from the ball. And that is a straight red card to Hamasin Olave. Salt Lake down to nine men, and the Timbers have a penalty kick coming with a chance to level the match. Well, this game has turned on its head, and the referee had no doubt in his mind to show that man, Hamasin Olave, the straight red, to send him to the showers. If we just watch right in the middle of the play, Adi and Hamasin Olave, they're at it. And it's that left arm that goes right across the face of Fernando Adi. And the referee has done well to spot it. It's silly. It's reckless. We have to say there's intent as he's irritated by Adi pulling away at him. Olave, he lashes out and credit to the referee. Again, he gets the right decision to show the red card. Ian Anderson, the assistant referee. On this near side, immediately put his flag up. Valerio Grajeda pointed to the spot. And now it's Fernando Adi versus Nick Romando. Adi scored against Romando from the spot on October 14th of 2015. 
Ramondo, one of, if not the best ever, in Major League Soccer, defending PKs.